I think the answer to this headline is yes. Does Jazz Jennings regret transitioning? The story of a child who did not know what gender was, who underwent gender transition before puberty and then received surgery before being an adult. The story from The Spectator is actually rather terrifying. And it's rooted in a clip from Jazz Jennings' show where Jazz, who is biologically male but was transitioned as a child, says, I just don't feel like myself. I never do. So despite all the surgeries, the years of affirmation, nothing is making Jazz feel like themselves. It's weird. I can't begin to try and understand what that must be like for anybody who doesn't feel like themselves. But maybe this is the reason why they say that despite affirmation, attempted suicides remain high among those suffering from gender dysphoria because there is something else within them that makes them feel like they're not themselves. And what's being offered is a simple answer that is incorrect. Hey, maybe the reason you don't feel like yourself is because you're actually the opposite sex. Wrong gender identity. And then in reality, that's not the reason, but people who are desperate to figure out what's wrong with them will accept it and try it because they're affirmed. Affirmation is not the way. Treatment is the way. If someone says, I don't feel like myself, I'm a pumpkin, you would not affirm that. But in only one circumstance of dysmorphia do we actually affirm, and that's gender, uh, gender dysphoria. I want to read for you the story from Spectator and then talk about it because there's something I've read a bit about, and it's actually rather horrifying, but it goes into interesting detail. From The Spectator, does Jazz Jennings regret transitioning? I will say, in my opinion, the answer is outright yes. Yes, Jazz Jennings regrets transition, is depressed, and it's getting worse. Here's the story. And I'm not going to get into uh, too much of what they write. It's a lot of verbose opining, but there are some key points here and a video clip I want to play for you. The story of Jazz Jennings, whose parents began their attempts to transition him to female when he was just five years old, full stop, to, to girlhood or womanhood. Female is a sex, not a gender. It had a major impact on the acceptance of transgenderism in America. As a child who made TV appearances with Barbara Walters, Jennings was the example par excellence for the perspective that some people innately belong to the opposite gender. An argument that was made more convincing because Jennings' parents had treated him as a girl since early childhood. In recent years, however, Jennings has repeatedly made headlines for health problems that offer counter evidence to the narrative that medicine can seamlessly transition adults or children from one sex to the one they were supposedly truly belonging to. A botched penile inversion vaginoplasty that Jennings underwent at the age of 17 required multiple corrective surgeries and left him with greatly diminished sexual function. Not to mention, this individual is completely sterile and will never have a family. One of Jennings' surgeons, Marcy Bowers, later went public with he uh, hesitancy toward the World Professional Association of Transgender Health Standards of Care for Children, arguing the practice of giving 11-year-olds testosterone blockers and 13-year-olds estrogen treatments has made it impossible for doctors to later perform a traditional penile inversion vaginoplasty on them as doctors are required to take skin grafts in order to have enough tissue, often leaving patients with poor outcomes. This is exactly what happens with Jennings. His surgery was performed with stomach lining to make up for the lack of available tissue. Soon after the surgery, his, quote, neovagina split apart. Three corrective surgeries over a period of years were subsequently performed. Quote, I think there was naivety on the part of pediatric endocrinologists who are proponents of early puberty blockade, thinking that just this magic can happen can sur and sur that surgeons can do anything, said Bowers in an interview with Abigail Schreier. But honestly, Bowers continued, I can't sit here and tell you that people who begin transiting as children have better or even good results. They're not as functional. I worry about their reproductive rights later. I worried about their sexual health later and ability to find intimacy. I feel bad for Jazz Jennings, man. I really do. I hope Jazz does find peace. But Jazz will never have a family, nor does Jazz has, have the option to have a family. Now, maybe as more and more liberals abort their kids and sterilize them, it won't matter because Jazz will still fit in. But I think deep down, human beings have a desire for family. Jazz will not have that. Jazz can adopt. There's other means. Some people can't have kids. Look, there are women who are, who are infertile or sterile and men much the same. 
It's not a death sentence. I'm just saying for some people, they lament their lack of ability to reproduce. For Jazz, it was taken from them. Following the initial surgeries, Jennings gained over 100 pounds through binge eating and experienced a range of mental health disorders. Jennings' mother, Jeanette, deflected theories that those difficulties were caused by the penile inversion vaginoplasty and argued that Jazz had long experienced mental health issues. I wonder why. Season eight of the TLC show, I Am Jazz, is now airing. And in a recent episode, Jennings has an alarming conversation with his mother. In a clip that has gone viral over the past week, Jennings says that he is completely broken and unable to be his true self. One has to wonder if a lifetime of hormone treatments and surgeries intended to alter his appearance might have something to do with that. I have warned of this. Look up the story of John Money. They took two young boys and forcefully transitioned one into a girl. Both later took their own lives. One may, uh, may I believe the older brother may have been a drug overdose, so maybe, maybe not intentional. But the, the young male who was forcefully transitioned at a young age, I believe, was, in, was just an outright suicide. It's, it's, it's horrifying. We don't want this to happen. But it is. Jazz explains to his mother that he keeps going back to negative and that he can't get out of his head. It just doesn't stop. Jazz's mother attempts to stop the breakdown and convince Jazz who in a recent episode went on a date with a woman, that everything will be all right. It's okay. Give me a hug. I know what you're going through. We've been there before. This is what I said was going to happen. The story as it was covered was that when Jazz was young and being groomed, Jazz said that they were attracted to boys. Then after around 13 or 14, Jazz said that they were pansexual. I stated what I believed to be happening was that Jazz was experiencing natural male development and Jazz was attracted to females. Upon this realization, there was a, di- a difficult mental state. But I've always been told that it's, that it's males. But now I'm feeling it towards females. Uh-oh. That's why Jazz went from being attracted to males to, fe- to, to being pan. I believe what we're now going to see is Jazz's eventual detransition. We will see, though. I don't know for sure. It is a powerful motivator having a TV show and being famous. Jazz's mother attempts to break down and convince Jazz, when on a date with a woman, it'll be all right. Jazz then comes clean with the truth. I just want to feel like myself. That's it. I don't care. All I want is to be happy and feel like me. I don't feel like me ever. I don't feel like me ever. Here's the clip. So, um, are you feeling like you wanted to start talking about are you okay? I'm okay. I'm like gonna cry. But you, you know I can't get out of my head. I know. No, listen. <laughs> it I know. just doesn't stop. It's okay. Give me a hug. It's okay. I know what you're going through. We've been there before. No, it still doesn't stop now. I and know. I'm already going well, back to you, negative. But the more you're talking about yourself, it gets harder. Mm-hmm. You're digging in and you're, it's making you put a, a magnifying glass on what's already creepy. difficult as it is. So this is hard for you. I know. And you don't, we don't want to push you I know. Anymore. I'm the one doing it. Like... I know, you're your own worst enemy. I feel kind of all over the place and like my mind is very cluttered and not clear. And I really want to have that clarity. I really want to understand myself and be able to read my own soul and what I want. And it's just very challenging. And I think I'm kind of breaking down a little bit and spiraling into negativity. I wonder if Jazz went on a date with a woman, if part of the depression is... Jazz will never be that man, will never be that strong adult man who can provide for and care for and be there for a woman that they want to be with, that they are now trapped in a body and they will not experience what they are yearning for. It's almost the inversion of what they say gender dysphoria is. In fact, what I am saying overtly is that Jazz Jennings may be truly experiencing gender dysphoria right now. That is to say, if you are 16, 17 year old male and you're experiencing gender dysphoria, you're becoming older and you say you want to undergo these these surgeries. I can certainly understand gender dysphoria. I believe it does exist. I believe that there are some people who experience this. They look in the mirror. They're they're, they're shocked by this. I know there are many conservatives who say they don't think it exists. It's not a real thing. Mm. I think people experience it. I don't know if affirmation is the appropriate response. With Jazz, I believe that because Jazz was transitioned as a child, 
Jazz never actually experienced a natural development and the ability to then have a gender identity. Thus, Jazz, who is biologically male and where 99.9% of biological males will identify with their own biological sex, was placed into the body of a female or a facsimile of, and now uh, at the point of adulthood, is yearning for a normal male experience, as is true of 99% of biological males. That's the wager. And now Jazz is saying, I, I, I don't feel like myself. I believe that Jazz is now experiencing true gender dysphoria in the wrong body. Jeanette, for her part, tries to dissuade Jazz from introspecting too deeply. But the more you're talking about yourself, it gets harder. You're digging in and it's making you put a magnifying glass on what's already difficult. Jeanette, of course, has made millions off of Jazz's transition and become famous for it. She now runs her own organization, the Trans Kid Purple Rainbow Foundation, which aims to enhance the lives of transgender and gender nonconforming youth and their families. Jeanette has adamantly supported Jazz, Jazz's transition and pushed Jazz to incorporate every available mode of transition to appear as much as possible as though he is a woman. <clears throat> a recent clip from TLC shows Jeanette pressuring Jazz to dilate his neo-vagina every day. Jeanette says that if Jazz doesn't do it, it will wring Jazz's neck. Men who undergo a penile inversion vaginoplasty are expected to dilate the open wound for over two hours a day for up to two years post-surgery and for shorter periods of time for the rest of their lives. Otherwise, the wound can shrink. Worse still, the wound can form an air pocket and then cause very serious complications and infection. But with her, I'm worried about like her mental well-being and her dilation. The minute she leaves my house, we have a dilation problem. That, that is a concern. We you don't have that watchful eye. They tend to go back to old patterns. I have woken Jazz out of a dead sleep and taken the dilator and put the lubrication on it and said, here, you oh take this God. and you put it in your vagina. If not, I will. But oh Jazz is bad. God. Even when I'm home once a day. I will be so mad if she goes away to college and that thing seals up. Oh, I my God. Wring her neck. Can you imagine? One more time. What did she say? It's bad. Even when I'm home once a day. I will be so mad if she goes away to college and that thing seals up. I will wring her neck. She said, I will wring her neck if she doesn't lube up the dilator. This is clear psychological torment and abuse. This is insane. There's, maybe there's a reason Jazz Jennings is not doing it. My God. Where is Child Protective Services? I mean, Jazz is an adult at this point, but still. Jeanette Jennings said she's woken up Jazz in the middle of the night demanding he dilate his neo-vagina. That's not what she said. She said vagina. Which is not what it is. Jazz's hesitancy to partake in this perhaps says something about the enthusiasm for undergoing a vaginoplasty. Another piece of evidence that Jennings is not as gung-ho as his mother on being surgically crafted. Uh, whatever. Quote, if we didn't define someone's life based on what's between their legs, things would be so much different, Jazz says during an episode episode five of his latest season of the show. Of course, having Jazz undergo a series of four genital surgeries in an attempt to make him appear like a woman, Jeanette Jennings has done exactly that. The medical issues that Jazz Jennings has encountered show just how disastrous gender transition is medically. The, the, the important thing I want to talk about here is that I believe Jazz is not transgender. I believe Jazz Jennings is gender dysphoric now because Jazz is male and wants to be male but can't say it because the world around them is screaming in Jazz's face. This is what you are, what you must be, and why. And Jazz has advocated relentlessly for trans kids and books, written, writing a book about it, encouraging more. I don't understand how we can see all of this evidence. Let's, let's, take, let's, let's take it in for a second. Jazz dates a woman. Okay, you want to say that Jazz is a trans lesbian. All right, I guess. But this is more indicative of a typical biological male attracted to women, to women. Jazz was not old enough at the time to know what it meant to be a woman or to feel like a man at all. How could you say I'm in the wrong body if you didn't even have the body? If someone is an adult male and they're like, this feels wrong to me, or an adult female and says, this feels wrong to me. That I understand. 
And there's serious challenges and complications with dealing with that dysphoria. But Jazz as a little boy never had a man's body, never truly had a male body for sure, but did not develop to the point where Jazz would know. Jazz was supposed to go to university and instead became extremely depressed. And they said Jazz can't be alone, began binge eating and gained massive weight, refuses to dilate. Why? I don't think Jazz wants to be this. I don't know. I just I just hope Jazz finds the courage to be themselves. Jazz is saying, I just I don't feel like myself ever because you're surrounded by people who are demanding of you what you do and how you do it. Jazz needs to leave this house and get away from the enablers and the abusers, seek deep meditation and therapy to finally discover what it is Jazz truly wants. And if that is to be whatever Jazz is right now, me, I got no beef. I'm libertarian. You live your life, you be happy. But clearly, what this family is putting Jazz Jennings through is not making Jazz happy. In fact, Jazz is once again, apparently putting on weight and getting worse. I think simply put, the fact that Jazz is refusing to dilate, it just shows us everything you need to know. Dating a woman and refusing to dilate. Jazz needs to get away from these people. I hope Jazz finds true friends who help them get away from this and become what they want to become, whatever that may be. Get away from the abusers. Lose them. Isn't that what that dude said on TikTok? Lose your parents if they don't understand you? That's sad and scary. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up in a few minutes. Stick around and I'll see you all shortly.